はい。実はこれも、えー、とあの、えー、と先日先日というかあの、えー、とオ,トメオトモテウあのリナックサミットで、えー、と発表した、えー、資料なんで、まあ、内容としてはもうあの SPDX とかライセンスと,、えー、と関連の、えー、内容なんでボソロジーの話の、えー、後で。えーまあ、報告、皆さんに報告させていただきます。まあ、日本語は下手なんで、今日は英語で報告、えー、します。Uh, hello everyone.、Uh, today,、uh, the title of my、uh, presentation is、uh, A Smart Way、uh, to manage, manage the OSS、uh, Compliance with、uh, y o r k t o Plus SPDX. And、uh, my name is Bai Xin and I come from the Physics Group. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce something about the Fuji's contributions uh, for the y o k u t o project community. And、uh, you can see this is the、uh, graph data、uh, come from the y o k u t o project from the、uh, 2015. And uh, uh, we contribute a lot of the patches and the codes to the、uh, y o k u t o projects. And not only the OE core, but also.、Uh, Uh, the uh, Meta CGI and、uh, Meta QT5 and Meta、uh, Visualizations. And、uh, continue, here is the data from the uh, Meta uh, Open Embedded dot gate、uh, from the 2015. And、uh, our f o o t a g e is、uh, in the ranking, is uh, ranked uh, number three. And, uh, And uh, the, the, the name in the、uh, red font is、uh, the members come from、uh, our Fujis groups.、Uh, okay, this is the agenda of my presentation.、Uh, first of all, I will introduce something about the SPDX, and then I will introduce、uh, how to use the SPDX in the y o k u t o project, and,、uh, and finally, to、uh, Talk about something managed、uh, SPDX、uh, files by the smart patch managers.、Uh, first of all, is the、uh, SPDX uh, introductions. Uh, what is uh, so uh, here is a background of the S- SPDX.、Uh, so, when we do the development work, so we usually we have these、uh, problems.、Uh, we have a lot of the package and uh, Uh, come from a, a lot of sources, but、uh, we have the question uh, it's, it's uh, okay or it is a, a no a license problem because the license uh, problems will be uh, made uh, in, uh, when we、uh, deal with a lot of the packages. So here is the,、uh, pro- uh, the problems. And uh, <coughs> also uh, because uh, We, we, we deal with the package、uh, come from the different、uh, supply o f the sources, so we need a standard and adopted format for uh, software uh, builds of the materials. So,、uh, the, the, sole problem, the, the solution、uh, we think is the SPDX, and,、uh, which is a part of the、uh, solutions. So, what is the SPDX? Uh, actually, the SPDX is、uh, short for the Software、uh, Package Data Exchange,、uh, which is uh, actually a, a standard uh, format for the com-、uh, communicating the、uh, components and the license and、uh, copyrights associated、mm-hmm. with the、uh, software、uh, package. And、uh, the vision of the SPDX to, is to achieve the license compliance uh, with uh, minimal cost across the supply chains. It means that、uh, we can、uh, Uh, achievements the uh, license uh, compli- uh, compliance uh, uh, with uh, not so, uh, uh, how to say,、uh, so far we, we、uh, have a, do a lot of work uh, to uh, make this work. s And、uh, we just use the SP- SPDX format、uh, to do this work. And、uh, SPDX will be a good solution、uh, if SPDX implementation. Uh, can generate the SPDX files, including the license information. <coughs> and、uh, actually, this, this is position is、uh, automatically to、uh, finish. We just use some、um, uh, SPDX scanner and the c r e a t o r 
uh, to uh, create the SBX uh, files. And uh, in the community, uh, there are three teams uh, work for the SBDX. Uh, there are the technical uh, team and uh, eligible team and the out outreach teams. And the three teams have different the uh, uh, different the work uh, content. And uh, uh, for example, uh, by the name you can see the. the uh, what is the team work for? Uh, for example, the technique team, uh, the primary uh, responsibility is uh, to uh, draft the uh, specifications and draft the documentation templates, uh, samples, and the source. Okay, next one. Is, uh, this uh, slide is show to the status of the SPX, uh, SPDX uh, specifications. And uh, the SPDX is, come, uh, is from the uh, 2010, and then uh, they uh, release uh, release the uh, 1.0 uh, version, and uh, so far the newest uh, version is uh, uh, 2.1, and uh, actually the features in the SPDX is increased uh, uh, increasing, and uh, so we can see that <coughs> uh, in the newest uh, uh, SPDX uh, uh, specifications. Uh, it's uh, increased. Uh, it's uh, more than the uh, version one's uh, specifications, uh, such as the uh, spinach uh, informations uh, and the annotations. And uh, actually, the this is uh, show uh, the SPDX uh, files uh, format. It's uh, it's something like uh, the. Uh, use the tag and uh, values uh, pairs to uh, the co uh, construction of the files and uh, something uh, like the XML. And uh, the important or uh, valuable uh, tags such as the uh, SPDX version, uh, you use uh, uh, version 1.0 or uh, uh, version uh, uh, 2.1 because uh, this uh, uh, a lot different between the different uh, version of the SPDX. And also the uh, data license and uh, the creator, what what kind of the uh, tool you used uh, to create the SP, SPDX files. Also, uh, something uh, some information about the package, such as the uh, package name and uh, the package version and package homepage. Uh, we use uh, the SPDX uh, files. Use this uh, uh, useful tags to exchange the uh, information uh, among a lot of the. Uh, packages, and uh, in the uh, bottom of this slide uh, here is a, 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 a sample of the SPDX, uh, and uh, the 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 package name is four, and uh, the package uh, organizer is uh, David Waiter, and uh, here is a uh, pack, package uh, homepage, and uh, license players <coughs> is the uh, MIT license. And uh, so far, I introduced some uh, basic uh, information, or basic uh, uh, technology uh, knowledge about the SPDX. And uh, so the next problem is how we can use it uh, in the in our uh, development or in the Yachtop projects. Uh, first is uh, what is uh, what is uh, Yachtop? Uh, I'm I, I I think uh, here is uh, everyone and here is uh, know what is Yachtop. Uh, Yocta projects is an open source uh, cooperation project that help you uh, to create customer Linux based uh, systems for the embedded uh, products. And uh, a lot of the members uh, in the Yocta projects, uh, such as LG and uh, Lunasas and uh, FreeSkills. And uh, so, why we use the uh, uh, SPDX uh, in the Yocta projects? Because uh, you know, in the Yocta projects, there's a lot of the uh, LSP and the, a lot of the open source software, and the different uh, open source software software has the different <coughs> license info. Uh, and uh, so here we have a problem that how to deal with the license uh, uh, compliance. Uh, for example, uh, in the uh, we we use the uh, the Yocta. In uh, the tool in the Yocta project, 
uh, to build the different uh, distributions. Uh, in different uh, distributions, uh, we build different the, uh, packages, and uh, the different package has the different uh, in, uh, the uh, open source uh, license uh, in information. So here is the framework of the Yocto projects. Uh, in the Poki, uh, there is Meta and Meta Poki and Meta Yocto. As a lot as this is the construction of the Poki, but uh, uh, actually, um, when we use the Bitbacon to uh, build, uh, build some things, uh, we can see at the uh, bottom of this slide that uh, first we do the do fetching to get download some thing and do the do unpack to uh, unpack the uh, archive files and uh, uh, do the uh, patch and do the configures uh, and uh, finally uh, not finally uh, during this uh, uh, building uh, basis we have the procedure that the do do uh, SPDX actually uh, this feature this face is do something uh, to scan the uh, package and. Uh, can uh, the, uh, get some the information about the package and uh, created the SPDX files. And uh, the current state about the Yocto plus uh, SPDX. And uh, Yocto plus SPDX means that uh, you can use the uh, SPDX in the Yocto projects and now it's uh, supported from the uh, Yocto 1.5. And uh, but uh, the the uh, uh, Yocto plus SPDX uh, only uh, supported the SPDX uh, 1.1 uh, specifications, and uh, as I introduced before, that the newest version of the uh, SPDX is uh, 2.1. So uh, I mean that the Yocto, uh, the SPDX uh, used in the Yocto projects uh, is a little late, and uh, uh, the Yocto um, uh, plus SPDX generates the SPDX files. Uh, by using the phosology uh, tool with the phosology SPDX modules. And uh, uh, by our experience that the environment setup is uh, a very uh, complex and uh, scanning time is, uh, is long and it takes a very long time to uh, scan the uh, packages because you know the usually in uh, distributions there are a lot of the uh, packages needed to uh, be scanned. And, uh, also, uh, the, the current uh, state of the Yocto uh, plus uh, SPDX uh, is not so active and uh, almost no improvements uh, in the SPDX modules. Uh, here is uh, uh, what we have done uh, for the uh, how to improve the SPDX uh, used in the uh, Yocto projects. And uh, first, we uh, improved the uh, support uh, SPDX uh, from the 1.1 to 1.2 and uh, then um, make the SPDX.IBB class uh, support the, the SPDX uh, 2.0 and uh, then to, uh, we uh, modified the uh, meta SPDX scanners and the, uh, not only the <coughs> Not only the uh, phosology, but use uh, a new tool that uh, called, uh, name called the Two Socks V2, and uh, uh, to in, uh, added uh, added the Two Socks V2 native uh, into the Yocto projects, and uh, later I will introduce uh, this one uh, compared with the phosology, and uh, also make the uh, Yocto uh, to uh, support the new version uh, of the SPDX. <coughs> So uh, now the uh, the uh, Yocto projects use a uh, phosology uh, to to uh, scan and create the SPDX files, but uh, uh, we we use the two socks we choose uh, because um, so first is uh, what what is the phosology? I think this uh, content is uh, uh, done with the uh, presentation before I me mean, uh, uh, by the Sony uh, Cambridge. And uh, actually, this is a tool that uh, to scan the open source uh, package and uh, get the uh, license information. You can upload your archive uh, files, and uh, the phosology will scan it and uh, uh, to uh, create the SPDX files. You can download from the uh, 
uh, the, the server you uh, created. <coughs> but uh, we use the two stocks V2, and uh, similarly, the docs V2 is also a tool that uh, manages uh, manage the SPDX uh, files, uh, but uh, the difference is that uh, uh, here is uh, uh, comparisons uh, between the phosphology and the two, two socks we choose. And uh, we want to say that the uh, phosphology just uh, supported the SPDX versions uh, 2.1, but uh, uh, the two socks is not so uh, near, and the two socks we choose just only uh, supported the SPDX uh, 2.0. But uh, uh, we can see that. Uh, uh, when we use the uh, phosphologies, uh, it's uh, very complicated to uh, set up the uh, environment and uh, take a very long time uh, to uh, scan and uh, create the SPDX files. But uh, when we use, uh, try to use this uh, two socks V2, uh, we find that it's uh, very easy uh, to set up the uh, <coughs> build uh, scanning uh, environment, and uh, it's uh, the, the the scanning time is not so uh, long. We we didn't uh, did not to uh, need to uh, wait so long times. Uh, also, uh, we added a new uh, layer into the uh, Yocto project uh, named the Meta SPDX scanners. And uh, here is a, a Git uh, repository address, and uh, uh, we contribute this one uh, to the Yocto project and the maintainers by our teams. Uh, so here is a, a new layer uh, named the Meta SPDX scanner uh, into the Yocto project, and uh, you can use this uh, new layers to uh, scan the patches and create the SPDX files uh, in this uh, in the face of the do SPDX. Yeah, uh, it's uh, changed from the SPDX docs uh, dot BB classes to the uh, two socks. Uh, with two names because this is uh, uh, more easier to set up and uh, 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 don't use uh, so long times. Uh, here is uh, uh, some uh, uh, some uh, info how to uh, that is about the Meta SPDX scanners and uh, already uh, this one has uh, supported the Yocto 2.1 and here is a. Uh, uh, Screenshot uh, to uh, show that how to use this uh, the Meta uh, SPDX scanners. Uh, you just need to uh, modify the uh, configuration files uh, to add the uh, where is the uh, the Meta SPDX uh, scanners, and uh, you can use it. Also, it uh, depends on the Meta OE and the Meta Python. Also, here is the. Uh, uh, to uh, uh, modify the configuration files to uh, specify uh, where you want to uh, put your SPDX uh, files. Uh, for example, you, you want to create uh, your SPDX file to uh, some uh, specify the uh, directory that you need to in add the information into the configuration files. Uh, also, you need to uh, and some information uh, to the uh, BB files. Uh, here is uh, when you uh, add the, inf uh, uh, the um, and here you uh, inherit the SPDX, uh, do socks, and then build the package. Uh, the the SP uh, the SPDX files will be uh, created and put it in the specified the uh, directories. Uh, so, uh, uh, summarily, the advantage of the Meta SPDX that is uh, he didn't use the SPDX uh, .bb uh, classes, but he used the Meta SPDX scanners are uh, our uh, added into the uh, Yocto project's uh, new layers, and uh, so the deployment is easier. You just need to change some the configuration files, and uh, also. Uh, the, the new uh, layer didn't use that so much times. Uh, here is uh, uh, inf uh, uh, 
the the uh, in, uh, in, in introduction about the how why didn't the uh, new uh, Meta SPDX scanner didn't use that uh, so much times. The scan, uh, scanning process is short, uh, shorter, and because the uh, SPDX dot uh, classes uh, usually to update uh, upload your uh, package uh, into the server, and uh, in the server side, uh, the server will unpack uh, unpack the uh, packages and uh, do the scan, and then uh, the server will send the result. Uh, to the uh, uh, your cloud, uh, the build uh, build environment. So uh, actually, the transmission uh, between the di different the server will uh, test a lot of times. But uh, in the Meta SPDX scanners, uh, they didn't uh, translation the archive files uh, uh, between these two uh, servers, but uh, just to scan the uh, packages in the local. So. Uh, the time is uh, not so long, and uh, uh, also the uh, me uh, the Meta SPDX scanners. Uh, uh, another reason of the why this one is uh, shorter because that uh, usually is uh, uh, when you uh, scan one package and the package information will store in the dot database. So after the first time, then uh, after the first time. Uh, when you want to uh, scan the same package again, and uh, they didn't scan it, but just uh, read the information from database, so it's not uh, uh, comparing with the scan the package again and again. Uh, the the directory to read the information from the database is uh, shorter, of course. So also the the performance is uh, better than the uh, phosphologies. Uh, okay, this is uh, uh, what we have done, and uh, next one, uh, the future work is that uh, uh, the currently the Meta SPDX scanners uh, uses uh, two socks V2 only, uh, but uh, we, we want to uh, add the other uh, SPDX uh, created files that uh, the user can select it, uh, which one they want to use. Uh, for, uh, for example, they want to use uh, two socks V2, then uh, he can just uh, uh, select it. And uh, one more uh, new information is that the uh, here, oh sorry, uh, here is uh, uh, under the two socks page two we uh, listed the a uh, new uh, scanner uh, tool that uh, named the lead. It's a uh, short for the license uh, identifiers. It's uh, developed by the Colocom and. Uh, in the ELC 2000 and, uh, 2017, uh, the, the uh, developer, uh, developer come from the uh, Qualcomm said that the uh, lead is uh, have uh, more than uh, the good uh, performance uh, than the phosphology, but also uh, than the, uh, better than the two socks Uh So far, we still uh, try to use it, but uh, uh, you know the, the new things are uh, usually. Uh, need more time to adapt the uh, uh, the environment, and uh, so far we didn't run it uh, normally. And also, we, we want to, uh, if it has uh, there are other uh, SPDX scratchers, we want to uh, add it into the uh, Meta SPDX scanner, uh, the new layers. And uh, also, uh, now the Meta SPDX scanner only supported the uh, Yocta 2.1, and uh, in the future we want. To uh, uh, extend the uh, the version of the Yocto uh, in the Yocto projects. Uh, not only the 2.1, but uh, 2.2 and 2.3. And uh, the next one is uh, as we know that uh, in the Yocto projects we use a smart patch manager to manage the uh, uh, packages, but also we want to use a smart packager uh, manage a uh, pack uh, patch. Uh, a smart package manager to manage the uh, SPDX files. Uh, here is uh, some uh, uh, information about what is a uh, smart, and uh, it's short for the smart package manager and uh, uses uh, in the uh, Yocto project uh, to manage the package uh, management in the Yocto projects. And uh, from 
uh, 2015, our team started to uh, develop the smart tool because the uh, smart is uh, not uh, not uh, not more uh, any uh, active anymore, uh, and uh, we all. Uh, Upload the, our source code into the Git repository, and uh, also there are many new features in the Smart Tool, including the support of the SRPM and uh, the SPDX file. So, if you have some uh, worries or some problems to uh, uh, associate with the uh, licensing information, uh, you can use the Smart uh, to create the SRPM and uh, created the SPDX files uh, to clear that worries or the, uh, the licensing uh, problems. And uh, here is a figure to show uh, how, uh, why we use the smart package managers. Uh, usually in the, uh, in these figures, uh, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, usually uh, the method of what we have done in the Yocto projects that means that uh, the Yocto projects uh, provide the, uh, a method that the developer can uh, build the uh, things from the uh, recipe files uh, into the uh, into the target. And uh, but uh, you need to build and deploy for each target again and again. Uh, what we think is that the, uh, in the <coughs> in the contract uh, we use the the, uh, the below a method. Uh, that means that you just uh, build one time and uh, created all the RPM package, uh, you, you created all the packages, and uh, when you want to uh, deploy in, in, in the different package, uh, then you just uh, build once and you can deploy it uh, into uh, whatever you, you, you want to uh, uh, deploy into the different targets. So based on these uh, ideas, and uh, uh, what we have done is that uh, we just uh, build one time and uh, created all the packages. And also, we use a smart package, smart package manager to create the SRPM package, and uh, at the same time, also the uh, created the, the SPDX files. And uh, so, if you want to deploy into the different uh, uh, embedded devices, you just uh, to select the package from the a lot of the package, uh, package uh, repository use the package managers. And uh, you you didn't uh, to build the same same thing again and again to uh, waste of time, and also uh, com uh, compliance with the package files and the SP uh, SRPM package, uh, this one and the SPX files is created uh, to uh, help the developer to manage the uh, license information. Uh, here is the figure to show how to uh, use uh, the uh, Smart Package Manager to manage the SPDX, SPDX files. Uh, when you start up the Smart, uh, smart Package Manager, uh, here is the item uh, called the Get SPDX, SPDX Archive. Uh, and you can select this item and uh, to uh, input some uh, information such as uh, where is uh, where you want to uh, download your SPX files, and uh, uh, this is uh, uh, where where you want to uh, download your uh, uh, SPX files, and uh, where is the output uh, path. And then uh, use the uh, Smart Package Manager uh, when you select some packages, uh, and it can uh, create the SRPM and the SPDX, SPDX files. Here is the uh, uh, screenshots that uh, uh, the smart package manager during uh, the uh, SPDX uh, creatings. Okay, here is we can see that the S SPDX files uh, has been uh, created uh, by the smart package managers. Uh, for a, for, uh, for a future work uh, is that the, as we know that the cost the RPM uh, 5 uh, will be uh, re replaced by the RPM uh, 4 from the Yocto 2.3 uh, during the, uh, because the version of the Python uh, 2 is not supported and uh, the, the Yocto project has changed to the Python 3. So uh, also uh, during these reasons, the RPM 5 will uh, be replaced uh, by the RPM, uh, RPM 4. And uh, also, the smart package manager is not supported anymore, and uh, the Yocto project 
uh, decided to use uh, uh, DNF. It's a uh, uh, dignified YAM. It's the next uh, uh, version of the YAM. Uh, so our uh, our next do is to uh, import the the function in the smart package manager into the DNF and uh, from the Yocto uh, 2.3. And also make that the uh, DNF uh, support the SPDX, uh, the SPDX and uh, implying the uh, functions with what we have done in the smart package managers. Okay, uh, this is all of my uh, presentations. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, I, I would I would like to answer it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I have a question. So I understand the SPDX have some version uh -huh. going one or two point. So does the SPDX have a uh, compatibility? Uh, but what compatibility? What? Well, compatibility? Uh, 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 so, so mm, the question is that. Uh, okay. I got it. Um, Sorry, I, 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 I don't know <laughs> SPDX. So, あ、なんか、なんかフィーチャーリストなんか、何を持ってるのかというとちょっと難しいところもあるんですけど、例えばえっと、1.0が持ってる項目は1.0じゃなくなってはいないので、あ、じゃあ一応そういうことは何何かなエゼロのでファイルを二点ゼロ用のツールにかけたりとかはもうこれこれこれただえっとえっとえっとえっとえっとえっとえっとえっとえっとえっとえっとえっとえっとえっとえっとえっとえっと
あのオープンコンプライアンスサミットにはまず来てるからあの日本ではオープンコンプライアンスサミットに参加してあの SPDX の人と話をするのが一番早いかもしれないなるほどあ,あともう一つ思い出した別のネタえー、っとそのソドックスあの使新しいツールだと、うんはい、そのキャッシュみたいな形でその一度やったらそのあそうです、ね、そうクイックになるって、えー、あれ逆に大元パイ誰かが変更しちゃった場合ちゃんとそれを検知でディテクトできるのかなってまあ、多分デペロッパーが責任を持ってそのキャッシュは多分クリーンしてやる必要があるいっぱいそうそうこれ例えばあの GDC がもうまあバスタータイムで入ってでもこれが誰かがなんか変えちゃったと<笑>めったにないと思うんだけどそこの責任はやっぱそのデペロッパーが取る。クリーン要するにデータベースをクリーンにするっていう作業は、はい、どっかのタイミングでは適切にやる必要があるポップアップするソースが変更されたらそうとかあとよくあるのがそのパッドットパッチみたいな多分や,りやる時って結構はオンにしてあるじゃないですか,だからそ,ういうそういうのはちゃんとフックするのかなっていうのがちょっと気になるまあパップしたファイルが変更されたらスキャナーがスキックされてなのでただちょっとこれあのまだ完璧ではなくてあのビルドするときに生成するファイルとかがあのかけられてないのでこのスキャナーああ本当にあのタワーで展開したやつをガシャッとかけてなのでさっきにあの言われてたえー、G リブのビルファイドペイジ探し、うん、あの探したんですけどないんですよ。あ,<笑>あれをジェネレートされるから。<笑>うん、なるほど。そいつも面白い。もうどこまでやるかっていう話かとは思います。うん、なるほどあ。ありがとう。とてもいいインテリア。あれブラウザで開いてやる。カードの話です、ね。そうそうそう。カード。ちょっと今週。<笑>楽しい話です。僕僕らは全然楽しくない。H T T P っていうのやつがあの R P M でダウンロードできます。ではなくて、うん？あ<笑>あ、あなんか、うん、僕がたまたまった話なんですけど、うん、あの R P M をで、あの H T T P プロトコルのあの R P M ファイルをロードショーすると。っていう問題が、うん、全然違う話で<笑>今の,あの SPDX とかに関係する話なんですけど、はい、説明できるといあはいえー、っとそうですね、うん、あのカールのライセンスの問題なんですけどえー、っとこれはあのカールのホームページなんでもしえー、っと。そうですね。僕僕が話す。<笑>うまくですね。カールカールも使っている方、カールは使っていると思いますけど、ね。えー、っとライセンスなんだっけ？カールのライセンスってなんかちょっと変わってたよ。こうするとり。うんとね、あここにビットハブ。というかいや最,最近自分組み込んでサイトに上げたのに忘れちゃった、うん、ファイルを見るとまあよく見るわかりますこれあちっちゃいあミッド系だってミッドですねミッドですそうなんだけどちょっとここに見せかけてるんですよ純粋,な<笑>純粋なミッドではなくてエクセプト付きのミッドということでなんですけれども、例えばじゃあ、フェドラーのパッケージ見ると、フェドラー、レッドハット、セントエス、その辺のパッケージはみんな、ミットとしか書いてないんですよ。<笑>で、えー、と、ヨクトのレシピを見ても、えー、とミットとしか書いてないんですよ。うん
、なので僕たちもミットと思ってました。<笑><笑>ちなみに、えー、っと、オープンハブ見てもミットとしか書いてないんですけど、で、えー、っと、まあそ、そんな、こんなで、えー、っと、ミットとしか思ってなかったんですけど、えー、っと、ちょっと僕たち、このホソロジー、予測し V2 だけじゃなくてあのプロテックスもかけててプロテックスたまたま今週カールかける機会があってかけてみたらカールライセンスって書いてあってあれと思ってちょっと調べてみてでこの SPDX のページ SPDX のページに変わった SPDX のページ行くとあのこのえー、とこのページご存知な人は多いと思いますけどあの SPDX で定義しているライセンスのリストこんだけいっぱいありますよっていうのがあるんですけどその中に見るとやっぱり、えー、と SPDX の中でも MIT とは区別してカールライセンスというのをちゃんと定義していてで。あのプロテックスって SPDX に準拠した形でライセンス名出してくれるのでそこでカールライセンスで出て、えー、そうなんだと思ってちょうど前回のジャンボリーで発表してたうちのホームの,あの八田さんの部署の人に聞いてみたらそうだよニットとカールライセンス別で区別してるよって言われてあそうなんだってで、えー、となので今まで知らなかったんですけどまあ、僕たちはちょっと知らなかったんですけどでさらにまあ世間を見てもレッドハットもよくともミッドとしか言ってないんですけれども、まあ、ちょっと条文も追加されてたりとかするので、まあ、あのプロテックスとかオソロジーとかかけると,、えー、と分かるなっていうのがありましたで、まあ、あの実際追加されてる条文はなんかコピーライトホルダーの名前をえー、と宣伝で使っちゃいけないよとか、まあ、あの普通に使ってる分には大勢に影響ない条文が追加されてるだけなので、まあ、あのあの中身的にはびっくりすることはないんですけど、まあ、こういうのがありましたで、えー、とちょっと今スラックって開けるえっ、ー、とちょっとあんまりこれ見せるもんじゃない<笑>うちのうちのチームのスラックであちょっとあの GLIV の SPTX 見たいから送ってちょっと今事務所に一緒に送ってもらいました<笑>えっとと、うん、インターネットスラック使うようになったのかなあ,あそうそうそう<笑>今普通に会社内のやり取りもスラックでやってます。はい。あ、なんですか。結局だともつまらないから SPDX を使うようになってる。あのビルドルとなぜかカードが ICS ライセンスということだけどどうしてそうなった。<笑>間違ってんのかね。<笑>これが、えーとまあ、あのフォソロジーもデソックス V2 もあの同じスキャンエンジン使っているので結果は同じになると思います。で、えー、とちょっとコピングの
ファイルは、えー、とライセンスジェファイブで定義はスピデックスあのスピデックスでと定義されてるあの単純なミットとかそういうやつじゃないやつです。スピデックスファイルの一番下に説明が書いてあるんですけどこれを見ると、えー、<笑>ミットスタイル。MIT スタイルとして確かにあの MIT とは区別しているのであの一番上に、えー、と一覧があるんですけれども MIT なら MIT と出て、まあ、それとは区別してライセンスレフファイルっていうのがあってこれが MIT スタイルなので、まあ、一応あのオゾロジーとかルソックス V2 でスキャンすれば正しく出るなっていうのが分かりましたっていうお話で。えー、とまあちょっとあのレッドハッターはどうしようもないんですけど、えー、とこのよくとのところをこのライセンス修正するようにちょっとパッチを投げておこうと思いますはい以上ですいわゆるこれ JSON ライセンス問題あそうなんですね JSON ライセンスって MIT ライセンスそのものなんだけど一義をついていて This software should be should be、uh, should be used for good not for easy その一義をついて<笑>当たり前じゃないかって<笑>でついでに言うとそれがついてるおかげでそれってあれなんだよあのあのえー、OSI の,あのライセンス、はい、o s i 認定ライセンスから外れてる<笑>そうあの用途に対する差別があるって言って。<笑>ありがとうございました。